Okay, energy, energy, energy. You look so handsome. When are you done? You look super handsome. Thank you. Come over here. Let's say it's a tomato taste test. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. It's, it's a, a tomato, tomato taste, taste test. test. Growing joy. Hello, plant friends. This is my husband, Billy. Billy, you remember my audience? I do. Of plant Vague, friends? Vaguely. If you remember a couple of years ago, I grow tomatoes for Billy. And Billy could not eat more. Like, you could never eat enough tomatoes. If I grew 100 tomato plants, you would eat all the She's tomatoes. She's physically restraining me from eating tomatoes as we speak. As you film. Right. So I thought it would be fun. I'm growing six or seven different types of micro dwarf tomatoes that we've Still never grown before. Not enough. Still not enough. They're not as prolific as they need to be. And so I thought it would be fun for us to sit down and do a taste test together because we have to figure out what I'm going to keep growing next season and what I'm not going to grow and what didn't make the cut. What you call taste test, I call snack time. Yes. And Billy's a sun gold <laughs> boy. So I'm also growing sun golds for Billy because that's your favorite type of tomato. So the other question is going to be with of the micro dwarfs, what is the best? And also do any of them hold up to the sun gold? Which is We are going to give honest assessments. And if I don't like one, I'm going to say so. Okay. Well, let's get into it. <laughs> Okay, so now we have to harvest all the tomatoes. We need at least two tomatoes so each of us can have a taste test. But I think if there's more ripe ones, I'm just going to harvest them and then Billy and I will eat later. So this is the husk cherry red. This is my favorite plant in terms of like how large it's gotten, how many tomatoes it's provided. The tomatoes are really good sized. So I understand why the name is husky cherry red. It's a husky plant and the tomatoes themselves are husky. Um, so we're going to get about, whoopsies six tomatoes from the husky boy where did the fallen one go next up is the quick snack red velvet mini tomato these tomatoes are so tiny i can't get over it but they really do pack a punch this plant doesn't have any more leaves so i think i'm just going to harvest all of them and we'll do them for the taste test and then this plant will just be done it's obviously pretty spent thank you very much plant for these delicious tomatoes next one we have like i said in the garden tour i gave like i've never been more impressed and least impressed with a tomato plant at the same time it's the tiniest plant like the leaves are so small but it is growing a lot of tomatoes we have one two three this is tidy treats one two three four and we've harvested from this as well we even have a couple that split while i was on vacation so like I mean, like, I feel like I can't hate on this plant because it's providing a bunch of tomatoes, but it's so wimpy looking. These are more rare micro dwarf tomatoes that I got at a specialty grower. The one I'm the most excited about is Golden Hour. We have three that are ripe, but check out, check that out. Is that not the coolest looking tomato you've ever seen? I'm so excited to see what this tastes like. Golden Hour, we have three. Then we have Orange Hat over here. Looks more yellow than orange. You know, it does. Looks more yellow than orange. We have a couple that split while we were away. We'll turn these into sauce. But so we have four viable ones. And then this one over here is Chibico. Looks like we have one, one really ripe one. And we'll make this one, we'll make do with this one as well. All right. Welcome. I'm impressed with our bounty for these little tiny plants growing on a balcony. What about you? I'd like more. <laughs> Classic. Oh, we also need a couple sun golds. So let's start out with some sun golds. Technically not a dwarf cherry. This is just a cherry, but not a dwarf variety. So this is the sun gold. I mean... It's like candy. It's like candy. Yeah. They're let's almost see. too sweet. They're almost too sweet. They're almost too good. Skin is if you have a sweet tooth problem, the those sun, gold. sun golds are probably the best case scenario. Yeah. So let's begin with husk cherry red. This is the largest plant, the largest of the tomatoes. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Okay. So it's mild. It's a little acidic. Like I know all tomatoes are acidic, but like it's a little like zingy. Mm -hmm. It tastes like, so if you remember in like the 90s when you had like a Roma tomato and it didn't taste awful like all Roma tomatoes taste now, mm -hmm. it's like a cross between a Roma and a Campari tomato. Yeah, it's not like, whoa, this tastes like tomato. It's fine. No, I think it's actually very good. It's good. I, I would use that 
but those are like a good tomato paste tomato. Yeah. Um, they are kind of zingy though, which I do like. Yeah. And I like the size of them. Like you could put a bunch of those on a sandwich. Um, okay. Next. That would be a good, um, bruschetta tomato. A bruschetta tomato. Yeah. With the balsamic and the salt. It, I feel like I want it to have some salt on it. I want okay. To be, yeah. So this is the kitchen minis red velvet. Ooh. To me, that little tomato is more flavorful than the husky red cherry, cherry red, yeah. right? You want another? Oh. Okay, you're I mean, take, put all three in your mouth. These are, I mean, it's good. Mm. The ones to that me, aren't they right. taste more tomatoey than the husky cherry red. So when, the husky cherry red is good though. When you say tomato, wait, what do you mean? What do you mean? Like, I don't know what I mean. I mean, like, that's <laughs> the flavor of a tomato. See, that tomato taste. I think that they're a lot brighter. Yes. They're more like vegetally. Yes. Um, they're not like cloyingly sweet. Yes. And right, they're, they're more like citrusy. They honestly taste more like a tomato than the sun gold does. Because the sun gold tastes so sweet. It's like, whoa, this is candy. This tastes like a tomato. Well, they all taste like tomatoes. That's true. <laughs> they all taste like tomatoes. Um, okay, let's go to the Chibico. I'm going to give... This is the only ripe one. This, these we plucked a little too ripe. So do you want to split this one with me? Sure. Okay. This you is want, the You Chibico. want a lady in the trap or are you trying... <laughs> this true. is Tidy Treats. Hmm. It's kind of mealy, right? Yeah. So my inclinations was right. I was underwhelmed with that plant. Yeah, this was, I mean, first off, like a, a tomato. tomato this small shouldn't be mealy. It should just be like a, a it should be Ugh. like the kitchen minis. Yeah, those are yeah. taste good. That's a no for me. Okay, orange hat. I'm really glad we waited on these. Mmm. Mmm. Those are good. Those are really, so. Mmm. We're just like sitting here going, mm. but the orange hats are the most bright out of these last two. Those I think would be totally fine raw. Those would be really good with cheese. Those are just really, really nice. Yeah. I would have those instead of cherry tomatoes any day of the week. Yeah. Um, they're much more enjoyable. And honestly, they're bright yellow. They're not orange, but they're, they're not orange. And when they get orange, I, so the one that was the, the most orange, I did not like the flavor because mm -hmm. it was overripe. So it was like, almost like, um, they had a split in the top. Yeah. It was just, it was a little bit too oversweet, almost like, um, like, like when you burn caramel, mm -hmm. like it was just like, ugh, that's like, we're a little too far down the path, mm. but now I can't wait. Any Without longer. further ado, what are they, what are golden these? hour, golden hour. These remind me of our favorite, um, Oh man. Good. Yeah. These remind me of, remember a couple of years ago, we grew a, it was like a, a blush, the blush varietal cherry tomato. So these, mm. so these are not acidic. Mm. Mm. They're not sharp. Like the earlier mm. ones are. They're real. Oh, um, wow. What is that flavor? They're just incredible. They're really earthy. They're, oh my gosh, they're delicious. It's almost like like if if these are all wines, um, this is like mm. a really nice Carmenere so or a Cabernet Sauvignon. Like it's rustic, it's a deep, there's a lot of earth mm. to it. It's really, really good. I'm eating this last one. It's so juicy too. Like the minute you take a bite into it, it like explodes in your mouth. Not acidic, probably the least acidic out of all of them. Okay. Really good. So we'll finish it off with the sun gold and then I want to ask you to rate Dessert. them. And this is dessert in order of like, Goodness. what, what would you want me to grow again next year versus what not to grow again okay. next year? Um, I want four plants of this golden hour is 100% top. Yeah. Uh, well, I, yeah, I think so. It's, it's definitely up there. Well, do you want me to rank them first or how many plants I want to be? <laughs> I want you to rank them first because okay. that's going to inform what I grow one, next year. Golden hour is one, two, husky cherry red is two, three, orange hat is three, four, Kitchen minis. No Chibiko, no tidy treats. Five, six. Yeah. I think Chibiko was the worst, and I was probably the most excited for it, which might. Yeah. But these ones, the Husky Cherry, those are really good. Um, mm -hmm. Now that I'm tasting Husky Cherry again. Yeah. 
It's the best one. It is. I mean, you can also just see, like, neither of us are touching the rest of them. Why I like the husky cherry, too, is it's a dwarf plant, but it's a big enough plant. And the tomatoes are still cherry tomato size. We're like, the tiny treats tomatoes are so little. Mm -hmm. I guess they're a fun snack, but like it, it's going to be really hard to grow enough tomatoes to even make a meal. Well, and you can't do anything with them. That's the problem. Yeah. There's nothing you can, I mean, the only thing you can really do is you can add them to a sauce, but they're not sweet enough to add, to brighten up a sauce if you're using more like traditional large tomatoes. Yeah. Um, so I think for me, it goes golden hour number one, husky cherry number two. Yep. Orange Hat Kitchen Minis. Those are the four I would grow again Orange next year. Orange Hat Kitchen Mini. Okay. So the only difference no tidy between treats, these no was though. you had an Orange Hat. I th think we had the same. We had right? the same, right? Yeah. 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 I mean, and I would say like, because now we've done this enough times that we, um, that we kind of have uh, some stock plants that we should grow a lot of. I'd mm -hmm. like to see three or four plants of this, two or three plants of this, and like six plants of the Husky Ruts. Like, yeah. Because I think that these are the most versatile out of all of them. Um, these are the best raw. These are, I could see being the most versatile. Mm -hmm. And then these, what are these called again? The kitchen minis? I did see a new variety of, of micro dwarf tomatoes at Cultivate this year that I want to try. It was a plant in a pot like this, and it was like growing over the pot, and it had like 100 tomatoes on it. Well, I mean, I, I think what we've kind of seen here is that quantity doesn't necessarily mean quantity. Uh, quality like it looked good though i mean i'm down i'm down to try it but i think we should have some stock varietals that we grow every year because now we're getting to the point where we like understand enough of the good ones yeah but it's always fun to try new ones i'm so happy we tried all these it was so fun to kind of track how they grew if you have grown micro dwarf or dwarf varieties of tomatoes that we don't have oh my gosh. off the island. <laughs> let us know in the comments if there are any types of dwarf variety of tomatoes that we should try growing in our next garden next year i'll and do this every day you'll you do like. this every day if, well if, if this is i don't know if this is the content that people want if this is the content <laughs> let us know is this the content you want you want Thanks to see for me joining tomatoes? us Billy. Yeah, no and without further ado do you want to say the sign off keep growing joy yeah keep growing joy Keep growing joy. <laughs>